So here you may recognize this is my whole um, office and essentially you, you can see me working with Gaussian splatting on the screen. Uh, but why am I showing that? Essentially for today's gift, it's super nice. I built this um, tiny local Gaussian splatting viewer that has some interesting function to adjust scale and so on the Gaussian splatting, but also to trim it a bit and export afterwards. So what you do is you select this tool and it will keep only the splats in the little square and you can go and reuse it even more to use only a, a very small sub part of your Gaussian splatting experience. So this is also one step in front of just using Gaussian splatting for visualizing but trying to interact a bit with it. I will share with you a non-commercial uh, project that you can use. The only thing that you will need to set it up is a local server. So this is what is running. Why? Because you will see that once you upload a uh, PLY file or a Gaussian splatting, it will index it as a splat file and for that I use Python. If you want to bypass that, you can and you can use it as we did with the GLTF viewer, so without any uh, server. But this is also one step to move even closer to becoming a player in the web space where you can actually push out apps like I did and for you to experiment with it would be very nice. Again, this is an unfinished product. The finished product is part of the course line and uh, I explain much more in details, but this is, I think, a very strong first stage to, to step into this 3D Gaussian splatting world editing capabilities.